everybody today we got some sad news for ios fortnite players first let me start it off by saying we got an update two days ago that involves free rewards and there's a reason why so first off the rewards are a pickaxe for the ancient voyager set which is linked with the sonia skin from this season's battle pass and the leaked male version of this skin which it could be one of the next fortnite battle pass skins in season four and then we got a message from Epic Games as soon as you log in. It says here, the mega drop is here. With new savings for everyone, we're giving you bonus V-Bucks for recent purchases made between July 14, 2020 and August 13, 2020. So if you bought V-Bucks during during those two dates, um, you're gonna get extra free V-Bucks. Now I know you appreciate Fortnite. For giving you those extra free rebucks, but I know that you're also wondering why you got them. Well, let's dig for some information. But first, we got to see the 1980 Fortnite trailer from two days ago. I'm gonna show you it right now. Today, we celebrate the anniversary of the platform unification directives. For years, they have given us their songs, their labor, their dreams. In exchange, we have taken our our profits, our control. This power is ours and ours alone. We shall prevail. Alright, so we saw the trailer, but what does it mean? Well, it means Epic Games and Apple had a disagreement. When you buy V-Bucks from your phone, it will cost you taxes. So Epic Games begged them if they can lower the prices down. But Apple said no. So Epic Games were working on a new method of paying for V-Bucks with a lower price. So as you can see here, there is one way which is um, the original price is paying um, through the app store or you can um, pay with um, epic direct payment for a lower price for Google but of course Apple wasn't happy about it so they removed Fortnite off their app, the app store and they they posted their statement about it it says here Fortnite Epic Games took the, the unfortunate step of violating the Apple Store guidelines that are applied equally to every developer and designed to keep the store safe for our users. As a result, their Fortnite app has been removed from the store. Epic enabled a feature in its app which have, was not reviewed or approved by Apple and then did did so with the express intent of violating the Apple Store guidelines regarding in app payments. They apply to every developer who sells d digital goods or services. Apple Epic has had apps on the App Store for a decade and have benefited from the App Store ecosystem, including its tools testing and proving that Apple provides to all they have been built such a successful business on the App Store the fact that their business interest now led them to push a push for a special argument does not change the fact that the guidelines create a level playing field for all developers and make the store safe for all users we will make every effort to work with Epic to resolve these violence violations so they can return for Fortnite to the App Store. That's where the trailer comes in. They are mocking Apple. So Fortnite might be gone for iOS users for a little while while they sort this out. But if they don't, then we might have to say goodbye to iOS users. Unless if Epic Games remove their new payment method, Apple will give back their game to iOS or otherwise Apple will not give them back th 
the game to iOS users. So basically, Epic Games versus Apple right now. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Also turn on post notifications so you will get notified when I make another live stream or video. We are